is this? You so ratchet. Before we get started with this video, give it a thumbs up. Let's get it over 500 likes. Let's get right to the news. A couple of dope news items for this video, but the first one, it looks like we're getting the first glimpse, glimpses of the PlayStation 5. Specifically, the dev kits of the PlayStation, the dev kit models of the PlayStation 5 have been leaking the internet. So, this is coming from let's go digital.org. Bro, check out these images. These are said to be replicas of what dev um the dev kits are what developers have in their hands for the PlayStation 5 and <laughs> the very first thing that jumps out at me are air vents look at this thing there's air vents everywhere meaning this more than likely is going to be a beast of a machine now a disclaimer is dev kits don't always translate into the final model of a console design but sometimes the dev kits give inspiration to what the final design would be, will be I see if more of an angular outward design. Now, the PlayStation 4 did have an angular design to it. And the 10, um, um, Sony was going for something edgy. Could be. They could be heading in the same direction with the PlayStation 5 for something more futuristic, more edgy. But we'll have to wait and see. 2020 is right around the corner, bro. Now, another thing with these air vents. The base, I had a base model PlayStation 4 and this is my God of War PlayStation 4 Pro. And the base model PlayStation 4, that thing sounded like a fighter jet taking off once those fans sw started twirling. So hopefully with the PlayStation 5 design, if it's going to have a lot of air vents because it's reportedly going to be a lot of power under the hood. Um, Sony, make it a little bit more quieter, bro. <laughs> We don't want to wake up the whole neighborhood when we're trying to play on the PlayStation 4. But next generation is going to be interesting between um, the Xbox Scarlet and the PlayStation 5. I'm, I'm, I'm an Xbox dude, so I'm leaning more towards getting the Scarlet. But I'm not, I'm not going to rule Sony out. I've had every PlayStation console. One, two, three, four. But we'll have to wait and see. Of course, there's going to be exclusives next generation that'll force you to buy another 400 box. I wonder what the price is. These things are going to be around 500. That's a whole other discussion. But this is it, ladies and gentlemen. Your PlayStation 5. What do you think about the design? I want to know, bro. All right. Next news item. We got more. Whoa. We got more gameplay for The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt on the Nintendo Switch. And I have an opinion on this. It is the best looking mobile version and portable version of The Witcher 3. I think it's the only portable version of Witcher 3. But it's also the worst looking home console version of The Witcher 3. To me... Uh, some of the images and animations look a little rough around the edges. Um, so I, I'm, I'm thinking it's going to look a little rough in, in dock mode. Again, um, it seems like they're advertising more the portable mode. Because people at Gamescom were saying, um, who was it specifically? Um, I think it was IGN. They were saying when the developers let them play it. I um, know it was... Um, Digital Foundry that they let them play it first and foremost in handheld mode 
um, because that's the draw of the Switch that you can play your games, home console experiences also on the go, and there is some compromise um, in trying to have the two. So, The Witcher 3 on the Switch, the best handheld version. You ever, if, so, should you get Witcher 3? If you are primarily going to play this game on the go handheld mode, I say yes, definitely. If you're primarily going to play it docked, it's going to be, I'm keeping it a buck, it's going to be the worst looking console version of the game. You're better off <laughs> playing it on PlayStation or Xbox. That's just how it is. All right, so Witcher 3 on the Switch, but it is impressive that they were able to cram such a huge game into that small, um, into the Nintendo Switch. This bad boy right here. So Witcher 3, we got more image, more um, footage at Gamescom. And uh, it looked a little rough. All right, next news item. Bro, you talking about a game that's looking lit? We've gotten, um, there's a video that showed 18 minutes of Gamescom gameplay of Avengers. Um, the superhero game that's coming out early next year. This game is looking lit, bro. And IGN went into detail. They interviewed the developers. <coughs> And it's a lot more to this game than we think. Um, hero specific stages. And they were hinting at some kind of multiplayer. I didn't watch all of it on the, uh, when they were talking about multiplayer. But it looks like the game will have some kind of online multiplayer um, mode or co op uh, mode. But the game is looking good, man. And so this is definitely a day, day, day one by adventure. Avengers coming out um, sometime next year, early next year, they already have the release date, early next year, Marvel Adventures, looking lit, next news item, Gamescom, so much news coming out of Gamescom this week, one highlight is PUBG, now, Fortnite sort of took PUBG's lunch money, they copied PUBG <coughs> and ran away with it, but PUBG did announce that they are having cross play, just like Fortnite, if you have an Xbox, you'll be able to play PlayStation 4 dudes and vice versa. Crossplay is coming to PUBG. And I said this before. Every game that has online multiplayer should have crossplay. Modern Warfare, the new Call of Duty coming out um, in about a, two months or so. For the first time, we'll have crossplay um, between the Xbox and PlayStation 4. And more games should follow that trend. <laughs> 2K, NBA 2K, come on, bro. So, should be lit, should be lit, should be lit. Um, um, Crossplay should be the norm now in gaming, in my opinion. Next news item. More huge Gamescom news, bro. I've said this a million times. Game Pass is the best thing in gaming right now. As far as deal, what you more the bang that you get for your buck, and Devil May Cry 5 has hit Game Pass, was announced for Game Pass um, at Gamescom, and a lot of dope games were announced coming to Game Pass in August Age of Empires, Definitive Edition, Devil May Cry 5, Stellaris, Ape Out. Kingdom Come Deliverance, another big game that just came out this year, is free now on Game Pass. Of course, with your subscription, but on Game Pass, Bard's Tale, Blair Witch, another huge game, Blair Witch. Did Blair Witch even come out yet? Either way, this is another huge game. That is coming out in August for Game Pass. And so Game Pass is starting to get heavy hitting third party. Because Microsoft has already given us first party games at launch included in Game Pass. But now a lot of third party developers are including their major releases in Games Pass. And so give Game Pass, I'd say to at least try it for a month. I think a month, first month trial is like a buck, a dollar. 
a lot of dope games on Game Pass right now. All right, <coughs> speaking of dope games, I don't know still what to make of this game, bro. <laughs> Death Stranding, two years in, and we finally got gameplay. And <laughs> the gameplay consisted of the protagonist peeing in the fields. <laughs> the baby dropped, started crying, and I got flashbacks of Yoshi's Island. Death Stranding is the 2019 Yoshi Island. That's my conclusion, bro. I don't get what's going on in the game. <laughs> Dude is walking around with the baby. He fell, the baby started crying. Mario, Yoshi, that's what it is, bro. Death Stranding 2019. And the last news item for this video, Zelda Link's Awakening is now available to preload on your Switch. Do yourself a favor and go and preload this epicness. I've never played, this is one of the few Zelda games I've never played, Link's Awakening. So, day one, I still have a voucher um, for my Switch. So, you know what I'm about to do right after this video? Preload Link's Awakening, boy. Before I head out for this video, I do want to let you guys know I am giving away a Nintendo Switch Lite. That's right. In September to a lucky member of the OGC. Three ways to join. Become a sub on Twitch. Join button on YouTube. Join button right below this video. Or a sponsor on Patreon. Boy, you game with me every day. Tonight on Twitch, we're going to have... Our Nintendo Switch 2K end of the year slash <coughs> farewell on the Switch tournament. Uh, next year, I'm probably going to be on the Xbox on NBA 2K, 2K19. But we're going to have a lit prize tournament for the sponsors on Twitch. It's going down at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's going to be lit. We're going to have a good time. But uh, we game every night. Just a dope gaming community. All right, dudes. What do you guys think about everything I talked about in this video? sound off in the comment section below i want to know but before you go bro click that subscribe button stay up to date on things nintendo we out bro Mr. Zircon wants to kill.